The title for today is Ready to Launch, uh, Entrepreneurial Tools for Your Studio. Um, got my email there. Um, please feel free to stay in touch with me separately after our session today. I'll also share it at the end of the talk. So what? What? let's get started and just talking about what, what how entrepreneurship might um, connect to you and your work. So the first thing I wanted to say about entrepreneurship is um, it has a lot of loaded meanings. Um, it sort of it sort of has a it's a signal in some ways. When we hear the word entrepreneurship, it's sort of like seeing fire or seeing smoke in the distance, right? And when we see smoke in the distance, we can see that it's smoke, but it also indicates to us that there's likely a fire nearby, right? And the question really is, when we see that smoke, is the fire a campfire, which is um, perhaps benign, or is it a forest fire, right? Which is certainly um, uh, not benign, something that's dangerous. And this is a sort of analogy that I um, like to use in describing entrepreneurship, because often when we hear the term, um, we react in one way or another, depending on how we have interpreted um, the, the term, what we think it means, right? It either signals maybe an invitation to think creatively and find interesting ways to solve problems, or it could signal sort of resources or a way of thinking that might be antithetical uh, to art making, right? It could be a warning to sort of stay away. Um, and so I, I'm not gonna debate that too much today. I just wanted to frame to you that I, I don't think that uh, we should necessarily think about entrepreneurship as something that we have to adapt uh, or that we need to um, you know, be afraid of. But I do think defining it in some concrete way might help us understand the ways in which those tools might be applicable. So um, let's, and I, I also think that entrepreneurship and music might be a little bit different uh, than it you know, exists in other fields. So let's talk about definitions. Um, I think this definition works really well, which comes from Catherine Radville, who is a, an author. She's written several books on music entrepreneurship and has um, taught at universities across the country. So. She, she talks about the, the musical entrepreneur as someone who sees an opportunity where others, sees, others see problems and use creativity to channel their passion for music into a new business or project or another activity that challenges the status quo and adds value. So this is a very aspirational, positive view of what it means to be a, a, an entrepreneur. And it's also fairly broad um, in what entrepreneurship can lead to. Um, when we talk about rather the per, instead of the person the practice of entrepreneurship, I love this definition, which is perhaps the broadest one um, I've seen, and it's by a colleague of mine, Linda Essig, uh, who now is based in Los Angeles, taught for many years at Arizona State University, and she defines it as this pro discovery and creation process for connecting means with desirable ends through an appropriate uh, mediating structure, and that while it's broad, is also somewhat vague. So let me give you an example of, of what that means. So one could, you can imagine that we all have certain means, right? We might have pedagogical training, we have a sense of our own artistry, um, you know, as performers and so forth, practitioners. Um, we have imagination, we have the ability to come up with interesting ideas, um, and we do that all the time. We have social capital, we know people um, in our communities who have skills and capacities that are beyond ours. Um, so we have varying degrees of financial resources, whether that's personal um, finance, financial resources or access perhaps to other types of resources of varying degrees. And we also have, you know, sort of business skills, things like, you know, uh, the ability to plan, to be organized, uh, to market, to, to balance our own internal finances, to budget, um, softer skills uh, like the ability to identify opportunities, um, you know, rel relative ability to manage and tolerate risk. Now, we don't have all of these means equally, of course, but these are sort of categories of um, resources or assets that we can draw from uh, to create projects um, and to engage in entrepreneurial action. So the mediating structure is just basically the, the way, sort of the, the channel through which we apply our means to create value. So that could be a private music studio. I mean, perhaps many of you um, have a private music studio. It could be either through a nonprofit educational organization. So perhaps if you work at one of those or teach through another community music school, um, that would be an example. Perhaps some of you have your own nonprofit organizations as well. Um, and it doesn't have to actually you know, manifest through the formation of a venture. We could actually engage in entrepreneurship um, in creating value through individual projects, whether they're um, alone or, you know, in collaboration with others. So what are the, the ends that we can actually achieve? 
again, there's a lot of variety there. You know, we we know um, through our, our pedagogy, right, that we're adding value to our students' musical knowledge. Um, we're helping them grow, whether we're preparing them for collegiate study or beyond, or just for, um, you know, lifelong love of music. These are sort of tangible ends uh, to a certain degree. There's also sort of a broader sense of community impact through our activities that, you know, as a music educators, uh, performers, practitioners, there's cultural, economic, social, and environmental impacts that we can uh, create through our work. And then finally, while I know none of us uh, chose <laughs> the path of being a music educator and a musician purely for wealth, at the end of the day, it might be uh, helpful for us if we can also you know, generate enough income that we can live a sustainable life and put food under the table and so forth. So this is a gen just a generalized framework for talking about entrepreneurship. It's, you know, basically looking at the resources we have at hand, uh, thinking about creative ways to apply them through some sort of a structure to create value and impact in our communities.